So I want to do this video for those of you who are out there. Your girl's telling you you've got trust issues. You don't trust her X, Y, Z. I've been in this situation before with a past relationship that wasn't healthy. So I wanted to clarify three reasons why you don't trust her. Now, the, the trust comes down to three key things. So you can skip this video now if you want to. It's loyalty, honesty, and respect. Personally, I believe that trust is a byproduct of those three things. So these are gonna be the three reasons why you don't trust her. And I'm gonna tell you also, is it a valid reason or is it you need to do some internal work? Because there are people out there, I know I needed to do the internal work. They've become accustomed to patterns and reactions to those patterns. And you need to do some internal work. I definitely needed to do some when I went through mine a long time ago, about seven years ago, whatever. So the first part comes down to loyalty, right? Do you feel as though she's being loyal to you? Is she being loyal to you in, in the things that she wears, things that she shows off? Yes, I'm going to bring up clothing. Is she posting a lot of bikini pics on Instagram and you're not comfortable with that? You feel as though she is not showing loyalty in that sense. And I'm going to get a lot of flame for that and I don't really give a shit, but it comes down to how you feel. Do you feel as though her actions are being loyal to you? And if not, this is something that's causing you not to trust her. This is one of those reasons why. And it can be taken from another standpoint, such as she's going out super late at night, not telling you where she's going nothing and then coming back home just these these different things that are making you feel as though she's not quite being loyal to you and it can be taken on a scale that's not a bad one to be honest and that's kind of where i would say you need to work on your internal self maybe they're maybe she's not going out super late at night maybe she's not you know showing herself to everybody on the block, but she's doing something that for whatever reason triggers you and triggers something that you've got from your past going on as a loyalty trigger, I guess we'll call it. And it makes you feel as though she's not behaving in a loyal way towards you. And of course, you're losing trust on that. So that's that's one of the ways I would say. The second way, of course, we already know is honesty. Is she being honest with you? Do you feel she's being honest with you? If she's not, then this is a clear indicator that she probably shouldn't be trusting her in the first place, at least not to an extensive degree. Don't fly out of here, bro. We keep the house clean for a reason. Um, so what, I mean, there's, there's little things, right? There's always going to be little things that are said that maybe you don't get the whole truth. Maybe you're not included on every little detail of life. And I, I feel like that is okay. But when it gets to a, a bigger standpoint of, it, it's bigger things that she's lying about then yeah it's it's kind of obvious that's gonna take away your trust that's gonna be a reason why you don't trust her and like with the loyalty example it's gonna be well understood the third thing of course is respect this is really important for men um i've heard it seen it women respond to love men respond to respect and if she isn't respecting you, obviously that's going to take away some of your, your trust for her because you're not going to trust that she is going to follow your lead and listen to your, your, your leadership and your opinions in the relationship, that she's just going to walk all over you, do whatever the hell she wants as though she's not in a committed relationship. And this is when she's disrespecting you on a consistent basis is also going to tear down your trust. 
Now again, these three things combined create trust, in my opinion. These three things are the foundation of trust, loyalty, honesty, and respect, at least as a man. And if, if she can give those and you can give those, then the trust is naturally going to follow. It's just going to happen. If she's not, if you feel as though she isn't giving these things, it's going to cause you to not trust her. Introduce, she starts to tell you that you have trust issues and there's a problem in the relationship. I want this video to tell you guys that we're probably in my particular situation that I was in a long time ago. There are valid reasons that you're not trusting your significant other or this you know, girlfriend that you have. There's a significant reason behind it. If it's being taken to that kind of degree, she's going out super late at night. That's, that's respect and that's, you know, that's respect and that's a sign of loyalty. She's going out super late, she's not telling you where she's going, bro. It's okay not to trust her in these situations. There should be communication. There should be honesty in this communication. It's okay to not trust in that situation. There's other situations, of course. I'm sorry, I'm kind of on the spot with the camera like that. I'm trying to do this just straight through raw. Um, I gotta look at my notes. I gotta look at my notes. Ah, fuck the notes. There's going to be minor cases where you need to work on yourself and the triggers that you have from your patterns. And there's going to be legitimate cases. If it is on a very, very consistent basis that one of these three things is happening, the first thing you need to do is have communication, have an open and honest communication and get to the bottom of it and try to fix whatever the issue is. If she's going out super late at night, if she's posting things you're not comfortable with, X, Y, Z. Communication is key in a relationship. And you need to communicate on these three foundational things to trust and see if those can get resolved. And if they can't get resolved, it continues to happen. It's going to extremes such as the one I keep going back to, just being out super late at night or posting super skimpy stuff that you're not okay with. She knows you're not okay with that. Whatever it may be. If those things aren't fixing it, bro, there's a, there's a solid and legitimate reason why you're not trusting her. And I think ultimately there's, there's flags and then there's your gut. As long as you can determine what is a flag... And what is actually your gut, you can make a better decision. Because flags pop up from past traumas or situations that you've been through, patterns you recognize. But your gut's going to tell you what's actually going on. And if it's telling you there's a greater issue here, there's a greater issue there. So watch a few more of my videos and stop blaming yourself all the time for what's going on. All right? It's not up to you in this relationship to do all the work to fix it. I'll see you in the next one. Check it out. Peace.